Hi and welcome to MTG Managed Group. Today we'll be opening a pack of our Born of the Gods pre-release, the red pre-release kit, Destined to Conquer. So unfortunately, I do not have the time to attend the pre-release for this event, but I've still got myself one of the packs that's been left over. So let's see what we have got. So in this pre-release pack, for those who have never gone to a priestly event, you'll get uh, something like this. There's a intro card. And there is a... Quest, if I'm not wrong. So there's like a side project or a side quest when you play uh, at the pre-release, if you fulfill both of these, you'll get like some uh, a reward. I think it's like a batch or something like this. Yep, so pretty interesting. So for the red pre-release kit, your quest is to attack with Forge Stoker Dragon without your opponent blocking any creatures, or you can kill a creature using For Forge Stoker Dragon's activated ability. Yep, and you need to have a witness to sign this card and bring it to an organizer for your reward. Yep, so interesting. So this is what you get. Uh, twenty spin down life. Uh, twenty sided spin down life counter. One of God's edition. You have your hero card, the War Monger. Exile the Monger creatures you control get plus two plus zero and gain haste until end of turn. So you can use this card during your how long is that? At game day where you battle the horde yep cool so and in the pre-release pack you get three one of the gods booster uh, one of them being a seeded pack and you get three taros booster pack so one of the gods being a smaller set requires actually the the major cards in the whole Tyros block to play so that's why you get some of each and so let's open up the Tyros pack first and then we'll go over to the one we got so first pack And we'll just be going through the uncommons and rare. So for our first uncommon is Audio of Porphyros. Another Audio, Tarsa. Decorated Griffin, not that great. And we have our Mystic Ashen Rider. Our 5-5 five, five creature for 6, 7, 8 mana. Flying when it enters battlefield or dies, exile target permanent. And we have our foil rare. Wow, interesting. This is cool. Our NX and Symic. 3 2 First Strike Vigilance with Heroic whenever you cast a spell that targets this creature. All creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1 and gain trample until end of turn. Pretty cool. Yep, so very, very good pack that we've gotten. Our first pack, and we have a Mystic and a Foil Rare. So effectively, in this pre release, we've been. We would have gotten an additional rare card as one of our bombs. So to our second pack of tails, we have oh another rare, cool, another foil. We have our Perforos emissary, hunt hunter, spell hard camera. We have another NX and Saimi. Hmm. And for our foil, we have Chronicle of Heroes. Yep. So we have two foils in a row. Very good luck so far. So let's take a look at our third Tyros pack. And let's see what we have got. Is there another foil? 
What luck, man. It's another foil though, it's not a rare, but cool. It's another foil. It's three foil in a row. And let's see what we have got. We have Vanquish the Foul. Akron Hop Light. Cutthroat Maneuver. And our rare is Temple of Mystery. Our Skyland. Not great in limited, but uh, it's a money card. So pretty good. Guess about like 4 to 5 bucks. So let's move on to our Born of the Gods packs. So first up, let's take a look at our Cedar pack. So what a Cedar pack is, is that it is a semi-random pack with a um, majority of the cards being in the color that you chose. So for mine, this is uh, the red pack. So most of the cards here will be uh, red color. So first off, we have our Forge Stoker Dragon. So pretty obvious that we will get this due to our quest card here. So if you fulfill any of these, you will get a reward from your tournament organizer. So first up, our Forge Stoker Dragon, our 5-4 creature for 6 mana, flying. It can pay 1 generic and 1 rate and it deals 1 damage to target creature. That creature can't block this combat and you can only activate it when it is attacking. So your promo for the raid, Forge Stoker Dragon. Oh my god! This pack is crazy! Okay, so next we have our Xenagos God of Revels, our 6-5 legendary enchantment creature is indestructible. And as long as your devotion to red and green isn't less than 7, it isn't a creature. And at the beginning of combat on your turn, another target creature gains plus gains haze and get plus x plus x where x is that creature's power <sighs> awesome yeah uh, i think this is like maybe 20 bucks here very cool if i went to the pre-list i'll most probably win <laughs> yeah but too bad Interesting though, uh, so let's look for our next rare in this seeded pack, if there is one. Nope, there isn't, but good enough, I guess. Then it goes, our God of Rebels. Pretty good. So, let's see if we, our luck can continue for the rest of the packs. Yep. And for our second pack of God, one of God's. Is that another foil? <laughs> this kid is crazy. Okay, let's uh, have our uncommon. <sighs> Don't really know Born of God's cards, so I'll just go through them. We have our 5 5 4 6 Tremble with Tribute 3. So, Tribute is a new mechanic in Born of Gods. And when it enters battlefield, if Tribute wasn't paid, it gains haste until end of turn. So it's basically a 5-5 five five with haste for 6 mana, or a 8-8 eight eight creature with trample for 6 mana. Pretty cool. Uh, next we have our Kiora's Follower, our 2-2 two two for 1 green and 1 blue, and you can untap another permanent, so great for inspiration. Next we have Siren of the Sudden Song, a 2-1 zombie siren for 3 mana flying. With Inspired, whenever it becomes untapped, each opponent discard a card and put the top card of his or her library into his or her graveyard. And next! Okay! <laughs> this free release kit is super- oh my god! Okay. <laughs> okay, we have Karametra, God of Harvest, our 6 7 indestructible. When, as long as the devotion to green and white is less than 7, it isn't a creature. And whenever you cast a creature spell, you may search your library for forests or plains. Put it on the battlefield tab and shuffle your library. Oh my god. And we have a foil rare again, our Adelon of Countless Battle. <sighs> this pack is so. Super awesome. Uh, it's a enchantment creature for 3 mana with bestow 4. And 
it gets plus one plus one for each creature you control and plus one plus one for each aura you control. <sighs> Alright. This is damn crazy. Yep. <sighs> and next on to our last booster pack. <laughs> if anyone watches this video, please share it. <laughs> you wouldn't get any better than this. Yep, so on the last booster pack, our first uncommon is Unravel the Aether. Choose target artifact or enchantment, its owner shuffle its into his or her library. We have our Ashok's Adept, our 1 3 for 3 mana with Heroic whenever you cast a spell that targets this creature, each opponent discard a card. <laughs> okay. Next we have our Fetal Step Eidolon, we are 1-1 one, one for 2. Uh, it can't be blocked, or you can use it to bestow, which can't be blocked as well. We have our Herald of Torment, our 3-3 three, three for 3 mana, we bestow 5. At the beginning of upkeep, you lose 1 life. Pretty awesome card, and guess what? Yes, we have another foil card in our booster pack. What is happening? <laughs> This previous pack is so good that if I was to play at the tournament, I think I would be cheating. <laughs> this is pretty crazy. Yep, so our 4 is a 2-2 two, two, for 5 mana, Strike Harpy. Flying with Tribute 2 when it enters battlefield, if the Tribute isn't paid, target opponent sacrifice a creature. So, yep. Super awesome luck with this, and yeah, including our seeded pack, we have one, two, three, four, five, six foil, which is one foil for each booster. <laughs> this is super crazy, and we have our money card. This is like ten bucks, maybe I maybe like twelve. Have our twenty dollar card here. Have a five dollar card, two dollar maybe. I think this might maybe two bucks as well. Okay. <clears throat> yep. So I guess you should really subscribe to our channel. <laughs> so yeah. So if you like to support the series, do hit like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.